Ben here, back with another video for you. Today I just want to shoot the bull with you a little bit here. It's been raining outside lately, haven't gotten a chance to do a whole lot in the sawmill, and there's really not a whole lot going on right now. That being said, there is something kind of exciting going on. I posted a video, a couple of videos ago, of me cutting some slab wood up off the sawmill. I did a time lapse where I cut the saw, I cut the slab wood up and stacked it on a pallet for firewood. And I kind of showed the process. Every time I cut a few logs, I take these slabs and I have to cut them up to get rid of them, stack them on a, on a skid, and use them for firewood. Now, that's fine and dandy. The problem is, is that cutting them with a chainsaw, I'm bent over and chewing my back up just trying to cut these slabs up all the time. So, to try to relieve some back pain, I'm figuring the best way to cut these slabs is to get myself a cord saw. Now, these saws are called a lot of different things. Cord saws, buck saws, bug saws, tilt table saws. The idea is it's a giant circular saw blade. Sort of like this one right here. And it, this is kind of on the small side for these, but I might try this one, I don't know. Anyway, it's just a saw blade on the end of a shaft that's hooked up usually to a tractor. The tractor uses either a PTO shaft or a belt to drive the shaft, to drive the saw blade. And then you put your wood on the table and rock the table in and out of the saw to cut your wood to the given length you want. Now, this idea seems to be ideal in my situation because I think I can grab the pile of wood with the grapple on the skid loader, pick the slabs up in the air so they're at hip height, and I can slide the slabs one at a time over onto the saw, rock them in and out without ever bending over, and then just take them from the saw over and stack them on a pallet which might require a little bit of bending over, but it's a lot easier on my back than cutting with a chainsaw. I'm not burning gas, and I'm not burning oil, and I'm not bending over. So it's a win all the way around as far as I see it. The problem is, is the expense. I don't want to go and buy a big expensive saw. So I went and I got on Craigslist trying to find a used one, and they're going for between 500 bucks, 100 bucks to 500 bucks. Now $100 ones are pretty beat up, usually don't have a saw blade with them and are kind of rough maybe you know a little bit too far gone a friend of mine knew I was looking for one of these contacted me there's an auction going on yesterday that I went to and I was surprised to find out that this saw is in reasonable condition I don't think it's in the greatest condition but it's not the worst condition it's got a little bit of rust been sitting outside but it has all the basic parts it has the table it has the shaft it has the saw blade on it the saw blades rusted I'm not sure how good that saw blade is going to cut, but it has all the basic components that I need. And the greatest part of this is, at an auction, I got this saw for 25 bucks. Pretty good deal, I think. But uh, unfortunately, it's been raining out like crazy, and I haven't gotten a whole lot of chance to go outside to get any video to show you what the saw looks like. That will be coming in the next couple of videos, I'm sure of that. I want to get together and sit down and try to hook this motor here. I have the Briggs & Stratton 5 horse motor. It's kind of on the small side, but I think this motor will run with a belt up to the shaft and should run the saw blade at a reasonable RPM to rock these, these slabs in and out and cut them up. Most of my slab wood is only between an inch and two inches thick, so it should cut right through it without much hesitation. Now, if the saw blade gives me problems, I can always change the saw blade. And I've got a few ideas there. I have one saw blade that's a little bit big. The saw blade I just showed you is a little bit small. And I've got a few variations and a few different things laying around that I'm going to try. So, if you're interested in that, I'm sure the next few videos I have will be posted on me experimenting with the saw. I thought highly, thought highly, I thought hard rather I should say, about building a saw. And I just think that's a little bit expensive on parts and I think it would get out of hand in a hurry so I think the best option is to try to refurbish one that is already out there and get it running and use that to cut my slab wood up now you guys as my subscribers I want to thank you you know uh, my channel has been growing at a steady rate ever since I started and it seems to continue growing I thank you very much for that I appreciate everybody who shared one of my videos to a friend or someone that thought might find it interesting I appreciate all the people that have watched my videos, and I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel and commented on my videos. It means a lot to me to have a little bit of back and forth to understand what you guys think about what I have going on, and 
it's nice to know there's somebody out there watching my video that appreciates it. So I thank you for that. And uh, I don't want to get too long-winded here on this video. It's just me sitting here talking about this saw and what my thoughts on, are on this. If you guys have any thoughts on this, if you've tried this before, if you've seen something like this before, you know, if you have any ideas or any kind of, uh, you know, any ideas at all about the saw, you know, let me know in the comments below. You know, I appreciate any kind of feedback you have. I know I didn't give you a whole lot to go on. Basically, I have a motor sitting beside me and a saw blade here, and that's about as far as I've got it so far. As soon as the rain stops, I'm going to take you out. I'm going to take some video of the saw, and I'm going to show you what it looks like, and I'll give you a little bit better an idea on what I have going on. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.